this video, we'll be looking at another simple one-step calorimetry problem. A 35 gram sample of bromine gas condenses at 59 degrees C. Calculate the change in energy. So like always, we'll start with our heating and cooling curve. Now you'll have to look at your table to figure out what the melting point and boiling point is. So there's bromine. Its melting point is 7 degrees C, so let's write that on the chart. And its boiling point is 59 degrees, so we'll put that on the graph as well. Now let's read the problem carefully again. A 35 gram sample of bromine gas, so bromine is a gas, condenses at 59 degrees C. Okay, so the bromine is at 59 degrees C. That's the condensing point. But it tells us that the bromine starts as a gas. So that means we're starting here at 59 degrees C, and we're going this way, losing heat, and we're stopping here. So this entire problem takes place at 59 degrees C. So that's a plateau. So in this case, the bromine is going from a gas to a liquid. It's condensing. So anytime we're on a plateau, we have to use the equation Q equals MHF or MHV. And because we're on the vaporization plateau, we'll use Q equals MHV. HV is the heat of vaporization. So let's plug in what we know. It says we have a 35 gram sample, so the mass is 35 grams. And now we just need to know the heat of vaporization. So the heat of vaporization is listed here. It's 187 joules per gram. Now, if you multiply these two numbers, uh, you'll, of course, get a positive number. But what's important to know is that we are losing heat here. Bromine gas is condensing. And as a gas condenses, it gives up heat. And giving off heat, that's exothermic. Anytime heat is released, that's exothermic. So we're going to have to manually make sure that this answer is negative. So make the sign negative. So as bromine gas condenses, it releases negative 6.5 times 10 to the third joules. So that's our final answer.